It is internet friend. Uh, this is the Neat Intel channel, and what I wanted to go through today basically is uh, I saw someone retweet this uh, on my Twitter timeline. I believe it was NY Prepper who retweeted this. But anyways, uh, this gentleman not familiar with, I left a comment on, on the video that he posted on his YouTube, but basically um, this post is not correct. Uh, and I want to jump back and actually, this this is doing the rounds that yesterday on December uh, 21st, 2023, a United States E-4B took off from off the Air Force Base uh, and transmitted an EAM on uh, VLF communications. So anyone who's been subscribed to this channel for a while knows that that's not a big deal. And EAM is not rare. You know, we can get anywhere from zero to over 50 EAMs any given day, usually around 15. And this channel, Neat Intel, as well as my previous channel, Internet Friend, you can look through. I put up time cards. I have recordings. EAMs are not rare. However, uh, this is all circulating during the news because a uh, account um, a mutuals with on Twitter, the new Area 51, put this out yesterday. Uh, and explain, not every day you catch an E-4B transmitting EAMs over the Gulf of Mexico on VLF. Uh, and explaining a little bit about this. So, all due respect to this person, I like this person. They, they put out very good information. If you're not following them on Twitter, please do. However, um, this message that was transmitted was not an EAM. And I'm going to explain what I mean. So they put a video, they put a recording, and this this is the uh, E4 that uh, transmit this message. And I will say this has been a blank spot uh, in terms of my coverage of the HFGCS. So you're going to hear something that I usually haven't talked about in the past. So this is quite an unpleasant noise. Basically, it's a digital signal, and that E4 is broadcasting it to the submarines in the Gulf of Mexico. And if we let this video play in full, what you start to see is this message. Uh, and I got tagged in this yesterday briefly, let me see, by uh, Catherine Clark. Thank you very much, Catherine, if you have any watching this video, because I don't think I would have seen this otherwise. I saw this tweet. I didn't think much of it. But it's this tweet um, that has the information. So if you look at this, this is basically taking that signal and turning it into a message uh, this is wrong. This is not an EAM. This is not what EAMs look like, and I'll tell you why. R you're seeing right here, 8888002118. So the number 8 does not show up in an EAM. The number 0 does not show up in an EAM. The number 1 does not show up in an EAM. If you hear those three characters in a message, that is not an EAM. That is not an emergency action message. What is this? So earlier this year on my other account, uh, I put out a video about what these are. These are, I'm not sure what they are, but for now I'm calling them 8888 8 messages, quad 8 messages. And I walk through, you know, look, these are the, you will not hear these characters in a message, 0189. So if you hear that, that's not an EAM. And I walk through and I basically go through uh, almost 30 years of history of emergency action messages. I walk through, you know, looking for recordings of any messages with uh, 88, with, you know, with, with the number 8 in it. And at the end, I put together a nice uh, time card. It's The video is about 40 minutes. It's on my previous channel. I'll put a link in the description if you guys haven't seen it. But, you know, on this channel, the Intel, I have a very nice layout I've put together on the front page, you know, like some... Uh, playlists, and this is something that even though it was on my other YouTube channel, you could have found it and watched it if you're interested just by accessing it there. Again, I put this out a few months ago, I think October this year, three months ago, and basically from all the digging I've done online, looking either for recordings or, you know, transcriptions, since 2004, people have only heard or documented hearing online messages like this. Uh, 11 times, which means yesterday was only the 12th time in like 20 years that we've heard one of these broadcasts. I, I, you know, I took, I took a look at that video. Uh, I checked the transcription. So basically once I started seeing that there, I took a note of what was being broadcast. And as you guys can see, this is what was broadcast yesterday by the E4. If you take a look at that message, that is very similar to previous messages. 
the previous video I posted talks about it, but basically they all start with 4800 and then these two numbers, 21, that corresponds to the day. So yesterday was December 21st, that's why you've got the 21 there. And then 1852, that's probably the time in the universal coordinated time or Zulu time as the military says. And then you can see here, uh, A, A, E, E, G, G, K, K, N, N, X, X, Z, Z. That matches previous messages. So as you can see, you know, these have only been broadcast so many times. And this is as far as I know, the first time someone has documented hearing it with the very low frequency signal. So this is not an EAM. That's wrong. I don't mean I disrespect anyone who's reporting as an EAM, but this is not what an EAM looks like. This, this is completely different. This is something else. Uh, and the irony is, you know, this gentleman who, uh, it's funny, this has, you know, this is well-researched, 500 views. And um, this gentleman's video has, I believe, about 5,000 at this point. Congratulations to him. You know, I'm not a vindictive person or anything, but uh, <laughs> it's actually bigger than what he's saying. That's what I wanted to say. This, if if this is an EAM, this this is not news. This is bigger than an EAM. This is whatever this type of message is. And in this video, I explain what this actually might be. We know from military documents what gets broadcast. So there are EAMs, there are FDMs, those are very similar to each other. So this is either a higher authority command message or automated retargeting data. I can't tell you which one it is because I don't have enough information, but it's not an EAM and it's probably not a force direction message. So again, this is bigger. Um, and in terms of getting that message out there, I really right now want to thank my patrons. You guys are keeping the channel alive. You guys are keeping the project alive because some days I look at stuff like this and it's like, why Why do I even uh, bother? And I, why do I say that? It, it's a little bit out of frustration, but it is kind of like, listen, guys, anyone could do this. If, if you want, if you have some time on your hands, you want to monitor the HFGCS, you could have made the exact same observations I do. You do need a military background. However, however, when you guys think you found something, you know, like big, um, double check, like I've literally spent, uh, I don't know how many hours of my life on this so far. Like I've spent a lot of time. Um, so if you ever have questions about EAMs or like you think you found something, even if you think you know it, at least share it with me. My goodness. Like this was not an EAM. This was bigger than an EAM. This, this is actually the kind of thing where in the end of my video, I'm like, man, if you guys have any information about this, like, please share it with me. So yeah, what happened December 21st? I don't know yet, but I'll just show you like the updated spreadsheet I'm keeping track of. So this is on my Excel file where, you know, uh, thousands of messages I've been tracking over the last couple of years. And I've even been going, you know, back looking like online for different resources. So I started to look, I found transcription and messages from like as far back in, as 1996. I don't want to call myself an EAM expert because I hate that kind of appeal to authority or like any kind of attempting to pass off more than what I do. And it really is a solo project. Ever since I decided to, you know, split apart from EAM.watch, actually I sent a screenshot a couple of days ago. I want to share this with you. This is funny. Um, this is from the EAM.watch Discord community. Um, and this is uh, Homer11, who used to be Kira Lester. He deleted his account um, because, you know, uh, in a previous video, I explained how you're sharing, you know, premature conclusions. Uh, and these same people, you know, any significant STRATCOM exercise two days ago on uh, HF. So on December 11th. And I put out a video explaining how on December 11th, uh, we caught some digital signals and I live streamed that. You can access that on this channel. These people say, no, there are no messages. So they're spreading like misinformation. So it's, it's a strange hobby with a lot of know-it-alls, and I hope I'm not coming across as one right now, but it's just like, this is what I'm actually excited about. These messages with, like, the eights in them, I want to know what they are. And to see people call it an EAM, no, man, it's bigger. It's, like, bigger than an EAM. So um, thanks again very much to Catherine for bringing uh, the post from New Area 51 to my attention. And I guess I'm kind of glad that this showed up on, on my timeline. It's interesting to see this making the rounds. Like, if it was an EAM, there would be nothing to be excited about. Again, it's just, it's bigger than an EAM, for heaven's sake. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in EAMs and you're not already subscribed, uh, please do. If you found this video or any of my tweets today helpful, please share, because obviously I don't have a big audience. This is what I've been doing for a while now, so... Yeah, that's it for this video. 
And, you know, what I'm going to try and do in the new year is uh, try and get to grips with how do I start monitoring these low frequencies because the EM.watch people told me that these were just broadcasting EAMs. Uh, and obviously, they're broadcasting more than just EAMs. So something to look at in uh, 2024.